Welcome to Good Morning Oakville, Pitch From Home. I'm Frances Fournier and I'm going to be stepping in for Shane this morning. Uh, and as um, for those of you who don't know me, responsible for the day-to-day -day operations of the Chamber, my job description has one line, all other duties as assigned. So here I am. I want to welcome you. We've got a great line of speakers this morning. So thank you for everyone who is pitching from home this morning. If you're interested from, uh, to pitch from, uh, from home and to let us know about your company, we'd be uh, glad to have you in August. Know that we get between 400 and 500 views on Facebook Live, uh, so your message does get out. Uh, if you're catching us live through Zoom or Facebook this morning, don't worry, we already have you muted, um, so you don't need to worry about uh, anything interrupting. If you need to leave at any time, um, Go ahead, you can catch us later on uh, Facebook Live at your convenience. So um, since not everyone can have their camera on today, uh, we do have a chat box. Please feel free to uh, introduce yourself, post information about your company, uh, and meet other people who are joining us uh, through Zoom or Facebook Live today. Before we get started, I want to thank our very generous supporters of Good Morning Oakville, Intelligent Office Oakville, as well as Second Cup Coffee on Lakeshore Road. So as I said, we have a good lineup of uh, speakers this morning, and I'm gonna start by uh, explaining the rules. As you all know, you have three minutes to pitch your company. Uh, Becky, who you'll see on your screen, is gonna give you uh, a countdown, uh, and then we will uh, graciously cut you off at three minutes. So, uh, good luck, everyone. I always enjoy this part of Good Morning Oakville. It's a wonderful way to get to know the companies that are uh, operating in Oakville and what everyone's up to. So, without further ado, I'd like to welcome Adam Jacob from Watson Investments. Good morning, Oakville. And thank you, France and the Oakville Chamber of Commerce for hosting us this morning. As France said, my name is Adam and I am representing Watson Investments. Watson Investments is a holistic wealth management firm that took its roots in Oakville in 1991. Our business has always been about helping people reach financial success, whatever that looks like to them. For many, it's more effectively paying down their debt or managing their day-to-day -day cash flows and budgets. And for others, it's answering the questions of, do I have enough or am I investing the best way possible? Simply put, we take the worry of the increasingly complex world of financial planning. We start every relationship getting to know you, your family, your goals, and your life's expectations. Then we implement our five-step process, which is unique to us. It's comprehensive. It stood the test of time for over 30 years, and it's all built around you. The first step is gathering and analyzing information. We do this by a series of in-depth conversations with you. Then we develop your financial roadmap. This is gonna outline different investment strategies um, and in include an investment policy statement and an evidence-based uh, way to invest. Then we discuss and implement your financial plans. This is going to fulfill an ongoing list of financial planning priorities, as well as wealth building strategies to pursue. This is going to include your retirement planning, estate planning, risk management, and child education planning. Then we have financial forecasts, which are basically visual representations of cash flows. This helps you identify different possible scenarios that your future may hold for you and better plan around those. And then there's ongoing communication and monitoring of your accounts. Financial planning and wealth management is an ongoing process that requires us to constantly communicate and change things uh, alongside with you as life evolves. We use technology to stay connected with you anytime, anywhere. The Watson Investment Team has built a fantastic process that delivers high quality results for its clients. Ultimately, your financial success is our goal. Uh, we invite you to connect with us through phone, through email, visit us uh, on the web at www.watsoninvestments.com. Uh, we're also very active on social media platforms, being Instagram, Facebook. We post videos to YouTube, 
as well as we hold our own live uh, webinars for market updates for our clients. Uh, we look forward to hearing from you. And good morning, everyone, and enjoy the rest of your day. Thank you. Thank you, Adam. That was great. Uh, Watson Investments is a family-owned business um, that is uh, has a father and daughter uh, managing the day-to-day -day operations. And in today's uncertainty, um, having a good financial plan with a trusted advisor is more important than ever. Uh, so next, we're going to hear from Frederick Castleman of Intrust Metontech. Frederick, over to you. Good morning. Oh. I thought, can you hear me? Good morning, Opal, can you hear me? I don't see any response. Can I just get a hand signal that somebody can hear me out there? Thank you very much. Thanks very much, Franz, Becky. I really appreciate the time and effort that you ladies have put together to uh, invite all the folks this morning. Metentech is a locally based Canadian IT company. Um, our focus is basically looking at the issues that are driving the concerns for all businesses from the large corporations right down to the small, um, small enterprises that currently are uh, operating under these very, very difficult times. So in the work that we're doing across Canada right now, there are sort of three major issues that may, all our clients are raising their hands and saying we're having problems with is the first one being able to train all their staff um, globally or locally in Canada, keeping staff motivated under these very difficult times, and then also being able to retain highly qualified staff, especially in the IT environment. So if, what we do at Metentech is we come in and have a look at the issues that are worrying you. And some of the points that we're uncovering right now is the security issues that people are having from working from home. Um, is my environment safe? Am I safe from being hacked? Is my business safe? Will you be able to assist me in protecting that safety and making sure that the data in the company, which is really what the company is all about, is secure? The second point is the growth. Will the company be able to grow in these environments or are you just going to try and sort of stay alive under these current environments? Um, and as a result of that, we're getting a lot of questions being asked with regards to the cloud. What kind of cloud? Um, Mick Jagger in the 1970s and 80s for the, for the elderly folk like myself on this call um, made a famous statement, hey, you get off my cloud. And right now we're finding that Mick Jagger is very disappointed because everybody wants to get onto his cloud. Um, we're a Microsoft partner, an IBM partner, and we also help clients uh, recover data during calamities in case they do get hacked. So the idea, and you'll probably hear more from Yasmin a um, little bit later on as she starts talking about the cloud, is that we are a single point of contact that look after your IT infrastructure all the operations and the managed services of your environment. So the best is just to get hold of us at Metentech um, or through the chamber, whichever is easiest and most convenient for you and reach out and touch and we will pop in for a, uh, a virtual cup of coffee. Really appreciate your time this morning, ladies and gentlemen. We look forward to hearing from you. Thank you. Thank you so much, Frederick. And uh, how timely to have uh, Yasmin Abdelhadi from Microsoft Canada following Frederick. Um, certainly uh, at the start of this pandemic, when uh, the Chamber staff, we all started working from, from home and, and remotely, I learned a lot uh, about uh, the cloud and, and other things. So um, Yasmin, thank you so much for joining us this morning. I'm interested to hear what you've got for us. Thank you. Good morning, everyone. Um, I'm Yasmin Abdelhedi, Product Marketing Manager for Microsoft Project. So, Frederick, uh, unfortunately, I wouldn't be talking about the cloud specifically, sp specifically today, uh, but definitely we can do something um, on the coming up um, Good Morning Google.
But today I'm here to give you a little bit more about project since I'm the product marketing manager for project. So if everyone um, or anyone knows about Microsoft projects, they would know that it's like a top tool full of capabilities that supports uh, project managers and uh, project teams to stay on track and deliver successfully their project objectives. But it's mainly used and needed by professionals and trained project managers in like construction or uh, technical development, etc. It needs training to set everyone in and get them on board on how to use and utilize those uh, a large set of capabilities. But for smaller scale projects, um, like in marketing, finance, and other departments, most of these projects are actually staffed with whoever is most likely to help with the project succeed. And we call them informal project managers because they're not trained or cert certified. In project, informal project managers are the employees that don't have the experience or certification or training that traditional project managers do, like the PMP, for example. And most likely, they are not uh, going after that as well. So um, instead, they need a simple but powerful solution that requires uh, little to no training at all, enables collaboration, and operates like their other productivity apps. So actually, Microsoft developed and just launched uh, around, I think, more than six months ago. So um, last October, a new project um, uh, version, which is called Project for the Web, which is a web-based um, application, very easy and simple to use to help teams work the way they want and enterprises or organizations in general get the results they need. It has, um, it's not an update, so it has a fresh new experience and enables everyone to manage projects with a modern uh, web interface. Uh, collaboration is made easy, uh, work on projects simultaneously with anyone on the web or in teams, if anyone is working on teams. Um, it also has intelligent planning, staying on track with reports, dynamic scheduling, and visualizing the status, um, and innovating because it's also built on something called Power Platform, which uh, you can just build custom applications with no code or very, very little code. So basically, you can either have it as simple as is or um, add to it as you want. So if you need more information, you can just reach out to me or visit ak.ms slash project for everyone. Thank you. Thank you, Yasmin. Uh, we actually hosted a power hour a couple of weeks ago, I believe. Um, and um, we were walked through this, uh, this product. It was uh, very interesting. One of our members who joined us um, was actively using it and, and had a lot of questions, which was great. Um, so anyone who has ever heard me talk about our team at the chamber knows how proud I am uh, of the team that we have. Um, and, you know, so I am beyond excited to introduce Kristen Curry, uh, who is our communications manager, but this morning is here to talk to us about the Welcome Back campaign. Uh, Kristen has been representing the Chamber on this task force, and I'm, um, go ahead, Kristen. Thank you, Franz. Uh, as Franz mentioned, I'm Kristen. I'm the communications manager at the Oakville Chamber of Commerce. And uh, this morning, I'm going to discuss the Welcome Back Oakville campaign. The campaign is run by the Mayor's Economic Task Force, made up of the Chamber, the BIAs, so that's Kerr Village, Downtown Oakville, and Bronte, Visit Oakville, and the Town's Economic Development Department. The community-wide marketing campaign promotes local businesses and encourages residents to support local safely. Check out the campaign site at invest.oakville.ca slash welcome back Oakville. On the site, you'll first see an interactive map, which showcases which businesses are open and how their services have been modified for public health. You can also search businesses by sector, so you can see what restaurants, some with their patios are open or for delivery, uh, what stores are open, spas, hair salons, and you can even search the map to source local PPE. You can search um, at the top of the map, you'll see uh, in the banner that you can add or edit your business listing. This will take you in where you can email in your business information to get added onto the map. The campaign also has social distancing floor stickers and welcome back Oakville window decals. These are now at the chamber office, so please reach out to let us know if you would like these for your business. The Welcome Back Oakville campaign also includes ready to share images for businesses to share on their social media to let customers know they are open. 
These include general safety posts, in addition to some sector-specific posts for restaurants to promote patios, uh, retail stores, hospitality, personal care, and health and wellness. Please use these templates to create your own social media posts, and remember to use the hashtag, Welcome Back Oakville. That way, the campaign partners uh, will share your post over the summer months to help amplify your voice online. You're also going to see some Welcome Back Oakville ads throughout the community over the summer, including ads in the Oakville Beaver, oakvillenews.org, Look Local, some geo-targeted display ads, bus shelter ads, and community mobile signs. There's also going to be an on-site CHCH ad, which airs on July 28th, so stay tuned for that. The committee is also planning a campaign for the upcoming August long weekend. Residents will be encouraged to take a photo with any Welcome Back Oakville visual. So this could be a sign, a bus shelter ad, a window decal, or throughout the long weekend, there's going to be chalk art all throughout the Oakville community. So residents, take your picture with one of these uh, Welcome Back visuals and share how you're supporting local for the long weekend. Remember to use the hashtag Welcome Back Oakville so you can win some prizes. Again, you can learn more all about this at invest.oakville.ca slash Welcome Back Oakville or visit the Oakville Chamber's website, oakvillechamber.com slash COVID-19, where you'll find this along with all our other COVID-19 important updates. Welcome Back Oakville. Remember, support local safely. So proud, so proud. I'm the mom in the office. I'm sure you're not anyone's surprised at that. Great job, Kristen. You know, as we uh, move forward in this pandemic, we all need to understand that we need to reopen the economy, but we need to do it in a safe manner. If you are looking for any type of resource as to how to do that, uh, reach out to us. We can direct you to the proper channels, to the proper sites, there is a wealth of information out there and we are here to decipher that for you and help you navigate uh, those channels. So please reach out to us, open up your business, open safely and support local. So, so important. Uh, so next up, um, I'm very pleased to welcome and, and this is the only guest this morning. I was not able to confirm the pronunciation of your name. So fingers crossed, uh, but I'd like to welcome from Intrigue Media, Bankol Aladi, how'd I do? I'm uh, not bad. Um, everyone's called me Banky, but that's the whole name, but pretty close. There you go. But thank you very much for having me. But everyone, the presentation was, was amazing, and uh, I'm glad that, that I came on today. Um, I'm a partner with Intrigue Media. I just came on two months ago to, to help the company expand out. Uh, we have a, we do online advertising is our is our big area where we, we work with companies to to build SEO and help get them create web I'm not sites is our main main thing, but we all do something called TV advertising. You may not have heard of our TVs before, but you might, you might have seen them in our community. We have TVs in Service Ontario, restaurants, as well as uh, the waiting rooms for medical centers and, and hospitals all across the Ontario area. We have over 250 TVs. And our goal is to work with companies who are, who are looking to grow. We're looking to, to grow their company, expand their business, and, and move forward. Uh, I know COVID's been, been tough for everyone, so we're, we're here to help, help you guys get back into action. Um, we actually have come up with this new, new, uh, new program where it's called, it's called Contest Advertising. So the goal with Contest Advertising is that on our TVs, we'll have, say, for example, your furniture store. You have a chance to... People have a chance to enter into a contest to win free furniture or something like that. And then they'll send their email to us. So we'll have their email in circulation. So you can keep con constant contact with them throughout the year and send them blast emails or even as well as their phone numbers and stuff like that. We, we, we've worked with the company before. And it's increased their sales immensely and they, they, they've loved the service. But yeah, like our, our goal is to, to help, help you guys grow. I know it's been a tough time for everybody. Um, if you have any questions, my you can check us out. Our website is intrigueme.ca or intrigueTV.ca. Our two different um, we actually have come with new departments as well. If any of you guys are applying on a charity event anytime soon, feel free to shoot me an email. Um, I would love to to help get you guys on our teas. We'll do it for free. So yeah, I put my, my email in the chat. So if you have any questions, feel free to reach out. Thank you very much for having me today. so much wonderful uh intrigue media a big community partner um so i do encourage you to uh, reach out to them if you have a message you want to get out 
And so our next speaker, again, uh, a great partner to the Oakville Chamber and an even bigger partner to the Oakville community. Uh, I am so pleased to welcome Jennifer McNally from the Oakville Hospital Foundation. There we are. Good morning, Oakville. I'm Jennifer McNally, Associate Director of um, Community Engagement at the Oakville Hospital Foundation. Um, many of you may not know that the government provides virtually no money for medical equipment and some of our hospital programs, including mental health programs. So it's the foundation's mission to inspire our community to raise or donate money to fund these vital equipment items and programs at OTMH. And I'm joined today by my colleague, Christina Jovanic, Special Events Coordinator, who's going to talk to you about how you can help raise funds to support women's mental health programs here at Oakville Trafalgar Memorial Hospital. Good morning, everyone. We are inviting you to join us on September 27th for the first ever virtual Run for Women event. This is an opportunity to be involved and connected with thousands of runners with the purpose of supporting women's mental health across Canada. Uh, I think uh, most of us have heard um, in the news that with the complex challenges, the complex challenges created by COVID-19 in our community, uh, mental health programming has never been more important. Um, and Statistics Canada recently um, did a survey of uh, 46,000 participants that shows um, over half of participants indicated that their mental health um, was either somewhat worse or much worse since uh, the physical distancing began. Um, and further, most of the participants, so 88% of them actually, experienced at least one symptom of anxiety two weeks prior to completing this survey. So those are pretty stunning stats. Uh, so the mental health leaders at Helton Healthcare have started to look at this collateral uh, damage that the virus has caused and have incorporated their findings into the hospital's mental health plan going forward. So by joining the Run for Women, you will be supporting our mental health programs by extending capacity for staffing and peer support, um, offerings for holistic alternative services, and creating new models of care targeted towards women. So with this event, it costs only $40 to register and it includes the legendary shopper swag bag valued at $100. You'll also receive an official unstoppable run for woman bracelet. You'll receive a unstoppable woman's technical t-shirt. And the best part is 100% of your registration will be donated to Halt and Healthcare's mental health programs. By registering your corporate team for the event, not only will you be advocating mental health matters to our halt and community, but you will also be reinforcing healthy living with your own employees. So connect with us once you've registered and be entered into some upcoming contests. I'll put the details down in the chat section for everyone. Thank you all and have a nice day. <laughs> Thank you, Jennifer and Christina. And my apologies, Christina, on my screen, I could only see Jennifer. And so I thought perhaps you had decided not to participate. Um, I'm in. The Chamber's going to have a team. I strongly believe nothing is more important than our mental health. And I am, uh, you know, if you ever had to go to OTMH, uh, how lucky are we to have uh, that state-of-the-art hospital right here in our community and I feel strongly that it's important to support them. So the Chamber's in, you'll get our registration. Staff, this is all other duties as assigned. Uh, we're going to participate and uh, support mental health in our community. Coming up next is Olga Shiroka, another great partner. Uh, RBC Royal Bank is where the Chamber does its banking and uh, we get great service and great advice. So Olga, good morning. Good morning. Thank you for having me here today. First of all, I'd like to congratulate you on an amazing award ceremony that was done over Facebook. It's amazing how you could bring it all together during this time. And a big, big thank you for the communication that you've been providing. It has been an amazing insight for me personally and professionally, and it has really allowed me to help my clients better. Um, so 
My name is Olga. I am a commercial account manager with RBC. We're a part of Halton South team that covers Oakville and Burlington. And we have 18 account managers within the area and a very diverse industry specialized specialization. We work with professional services, retail and restaurants, manufacturing, supply chain, non-for-profits, anything really. And we have a dedicated healthcare team and a dedicated agriculture team. Um, because of the diversity of our team and the collaborative approach that we have at RBC, we're able to service every client with the most tailored advice because we can leverage each other and leverage the power of one RBC. My role specifically is to be a trusted advisor to my business clients. And by that, I mean, I really want to do deep discovery with each client to understand the strategic priorities and the short-term goals and the long-term goals. During a time like COVID, it's been a lot of communication about what are the programs, pulling different resources together, and just helping the clients navigate the difficult time, but also assess, assessing and helping reach and access the government programs that exist, whether they're administered through the banks or elsewhere. And one of the big things that RBC really prides themselves on, and I think is amazing and allows us to really help our clients grow is the diversity and the beyond banking approach. And that means it's not just credit and financing needs and day-to-day -day cash management that I provide, but I listen to the things. Do you do international trade? Do you have effects needs? Do you have needs to support your employees through solutions for different types of programs and savings? Do you consider transitioning a business? So by pulling together all the partners, it's been really an amazing way to help each client get to the part that they need to get to and to make sure that they can grow in regular times, but also they can come out of this stronger. Wow, I spoke really fast. I had this, I practiced this many times. It's like, oh, three minutes, I'm usually a slow speaker. Um, I guess one of the things that I, I, I'd like to say is that I, I really understand the challenges that everyone's been going through. There's been clients who it's been harder. There's been clients, I've had clients who just started their businesses in March and then COVID hit and the government programs were not there to support them. So with those clients, we try to understand what can help them understand what payments they can postpone, whether their you know, expenses, work through, literally sit down and work through their balance sheet, work through their income statement, understand what they can do. So we work together with the accountant and the lawyer and really just really help the community grow. RBC's purpose is to help communities thrive and it's, it's really been an amazing experience. Thank you. Olga, thank you for your kind words. That is, you know, really heartwarming to hear. Uh, the Chamber team, as everyone else in, um, in business, was completely blindsided by how quickly the pandemic uh, spread and how quickly we had to uh, and I'm sorry, I'm going to use the word pivot. Um, and from the get go, we decided that we wanted to be seen as a trusted source of uh, information and we wanted to be clear communicators. Uh, so thank you very much for those kind words. And uh, moving on to our last but not least speaker this morning, uh, I'd like to welcome Ross Noble, uh, a fairly new member to the chamber, I believe about a year and a half, if I'm going correctly by memory, right. uh, from Spiria. Uh, so Ross, welcome very much to our community. Thank you very much, I appreciate it. And uh, thanks very much for the uh, for the chamber and all the work that, that you people do. And uh, not, not just for us as members, but for the community at large. Uh, Spiria is a, uh, a custom software and development firm. Uh, we've been in the Oakville area since 2011, but as an organization, we've been around for 18 years. We have offices also in the Gatineau and Montreal uh, areas, and we're just over 150 employees, and we've worked with uh, over 400 different clients across North America uh, during that time. What I was going to focus uh, letting you know about today is around digital transformation. Many uh, of our clients, uh, both locally and uh, across the continent, have been talking about getting ready for digital transformation. And I think the current state that we're in with COVID and the rest of uh, working remotely has caused a lot of people to try and understand how they can transform and do it quickly and efficiently and uh, with the resources they have. And many have reached out to us saying that they have gaps uh, within their organization uh, and uh, they're trying to find ways to either engage with 
their clients in different ways, integrate uh, innovative technologies, uh, whether that's for operational efficiency, whether that's to reinvent their business, which many organizations are doing today, and also planning out their roadmap uh, for what's coming up down the, uh, down the road uh, with, with their digital platforms to meet their business vision. And so we have an experienced uh, development team here at Spiria. Currently, what we'll do is we will uh, work with you to analyze the impact of this transformation, both on your business and determine a strategy uh, that will align with your priorities. There's a, there's a lot of planning that goes into uh, this, this change in the capacity uh, that your organization requires. So one of the things out of all the services that we offer, uh, since we do custom software development, is that we start with uh, usually a, a discovery period, which helps you analyze and understand the problem. And then we'll strategize with you. We'll work through the UX and UI designs. Then we'll go and help you with the development. Uh, and uh, that could be across all sorts of different uh, frameworks and languages uh, to fit your business. And then we help you manage the overall project, uh, QA it, and we're here for the post-production support. Spiria, you can find us at uh, spiria.com, and uh, we're here in Oakville on the North Service Road. Feel free to reach out. We're happy to have that conversation and I'll help you understand uh, what the impacts could be for some of the vision that you have been implementing in 2020 and 2021. Thank you very much. Thank you, Ross. Thank you very much. And thank you to all our speakers this morning. Always interesting to hear uh, the different uh, businesses that make up our business community here in Oakville. So as we wrap up this morning, I'm just going to let you know of a few things uh, coming up. Uh, it is summer and after a delay and our very first in-person event since March 11th, we're hosting our golf tournament at the beautiful Glen Abbey Golf Club on Tuesday, July 21st. I'm very excited to say that we have a full roster of golfers. Uh, it's looking very different than our usual golf tournament, but we're excited um, and we're looking forward to uh, welcoming our golfers on Tuesday. Our next Good Morning Oakville is on August 12th, so if you are interested in participating and let us know about your business, then please go to oaklechamber.com to register. I want to thank you all this morning, and as I said earlier, uh, as the Vice President of Operations, I just want to say a very heartfelt thank you uh, for all of your support. Thank you for our members who signed up as new members during the pandemic. We had new members May, uh, April, uh, March. We had new members starting businesses during the pandemic. Uh, thank you to all the members who are renewing your membership. You are helping us build a vibrant, business community in Oakville. That is our goal. Uh, we are community, we work together, and we support each other, and we move forward. So don't forget, we're all in this together. Um, as my grandmother always said, all things will pass, and this will too, and we will come out of it the other side stronger, uh, and you know, more aware, and uh, I've learned a ton of stuff in the past few months, and you never lose when you're learning new things. So have a great day, everyone. Stay safe, stay well, and thank you for being a member.